Hey, what's going on, you guys? You guys may know me as Easy, but I changed my channel name to my name. Just, like, permanently. So, you guys can call me Easy. You guys can call me Ethan. I don't care. Whatever you guys... Whatever makes you guys happy. Anyways, I'm back again with another video. I'm so sorry I've never been posting. I've been doing with my own personal stuff at the moment. And I really haven't had any ideas of what to post. But something clicked in my mind today I've been really wanting to do. I'm going to do a phone collection video. As you guys can see, all these phones, plus one that's beside me right now, are all the phones that, and the one I'm recording on, I'm sorry, are all the phones I have in my name. I don't have any other ones, not hidden, nothing like that. So the phone I'm recording with right now, I can't show you guys, it's a TCL 10 5G UW. I got it off of eBay for 90 bucks, and it works completely fine with scratches and dings. Only thing that's wrong with it is it has a bad uh, IMEI with Verizon. But it's 120 gigs, 6 gigabytes of RAM, and it works really good. It's like my primary Android, but it's not in the way. Next phone I'm going to show you guys is my daily driver. This is an iPhone 7. It's a 32 gigabyte. It's on straight talk, but I have it working with like my carrier. Uh, it's a 32 gigabyte 7. I don't know if I said that or not. It's like my primary phone. I use it every single day with my service and all that stuff. But it's a, it's a good phone. And yeah. So we're going to start here and then all the way over. I just got done with the first two, but here's the third one. This is going to be my new daily driver, which is going to be replaced in the seven. So this is going to be replaced with this. This is my second Galaxy A715 G. My first one I had, it got ran over. It was bent, smashed, all the heck. So I got a replacement and this is it. This is a at t variant Galaxy A71 5G. It is uh, 120 gigs, 6 gigabytes of RAM. It's AT&T locked, and I'm about to get AT&T service anyway, so that's like fine. So it's kind of like my daily driver in a way. I don't, I have it set up, but not with nothing, just my Google account and my Wi-Fi. It has no SIM card at the moment, so yeah. So. See, it's an at t variant, and I have nothing on it. This is all that comes pre-installed. I should be getting a SIM card in the upcoming days, so I'll be able to get all the at t exclusive apps that everyone gets. So, yeah. Besides that, it works fine. It's on Android 11 instead of 10, because my first one came with 10, this one came with 11. So, yeah, it does have fingerprints on because I've been using it, but not by much. The next one right next to it is my secondary daily phones like my media device this is a galaxy a01 it's locked to straight talk yeah straight talk wireless i got this phone at the beginning of this year as you guys probably saw an unboxing video i don't know if i posted it or not if i did i did if i didn't i didn't but this is like my secondary daily android i use it for media which is what i used to use another phone i'll tell you guys later for but it has all the straight talk exclusives and then my personal set of apps but it's only 16 gigabytes and it's not really that good of a phone but it's good enough for media and if i need to use it if my phone's dead so yeah third phone is one of the two gold galaxy s7s i have this is the at t variant one it is cracked on the bottom left corner right here and it goes over but it works fine it's a 32 gigabyte S7. It just has. It just literally holds all my messages and phone calls from my past Samsung devices I used. My first uh, A71, my old A6, this S7, uh, my A12, stuff like that. I used to have A12, but not anymore. But yeah. So. But. It works fine besides that, besides the crack and stuff, and the home button's a bit, as you can see, kind of chippy, but fingerprint works fine. And yeah, it don't, I don't have a lot of stuff on it, honestly, I just have very few things, but, so, yeah, as you can see, it's an at t exclusive, at t all that stuff, and I just have messages and calls, so. Yeah. I'm going to turn it off and go on to the next one. 
Next phone is a Galaxy A10e. This is another phone that Jack sent me. Oh, Jack sent me. Jack gave me that every came up to visit, by the way. And he gave me another S7, told me to unlock it and send it back because it was Google locked. And then he messaged me saying I can keep it. Kept it, used it for a little bit, and then I sold it. This A10e is on Cricut, wireless. I don't have a SIM card for it. It's just something I have in the collection. I don't really use it a lot like I'd want to, but no, it just is what it is. So I do have like four apps. I got like Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and a VPN, as y'all can see. You guys don't believe me? I can show you guys. There's uh, Snapchat, Proton VPN, TikTok, and Instagram. But yeah, there's Cricket. So you guys can see the scoop and my Cricket. Yeah, so not that bad. Good working phone. I like it. I don't really use it a lot, but yeah, it's just here. So next phone is a LG Aristo Five. This is a Metro by T-Mobile. Unlocked from Metro by T-Mobile phone works fine. It's 32 gigabyte. It is, uh, I already said it's unlocked and it's uh, it's unlocked from Metro by T-Mobile, but it's not set up currently. It needs to be, but it just isn't, and nor probably will I, because I'm probably gonna sell this thing. Like I'm thinking about it really much. We really selling it. So, yeah. You guys can see here in a second, it is not set up at all. Like, not set up at all. Okay, so yeah, so it's not set up. I think it's on my Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's on my Wi-Fi, but it's not set up. I'm just going to go and set up right now while we're on here. While we're at setting up, I will show you guys next phone. This is a ZTE Quest. Not the Quest Plus, but just the original Quest. It's on insurance wireless. I don't have any service on it. This is the Mario Judah phone. This is one of the other phones that Jack gave me Jack gave me whenever he came to visit. Uh, I never really posted that video Saturday, or I think I did, I don't remember, really. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and check right now while I'm thinking about it, because I honestly think I forgot. So... Uh, yes, I did. I posted the phone trade and meetup with him. But going to the last trade I did with him. So yeah. That was involved whenever he came to visit me. Uh it's just it's something I have of him that I wanna keep. That's all I can really say about this. This next phone is a TCO A two. I got this thing brand spanking new off of Track Phone's website along with a uh what is it, with a uh Cigarette lighter double port, dual USB cigarette lighter for my car. I can you charge my phone in? So, yeah, it's got 32 gigabytes of space. It's not really all that good. I use it sometimes, but like I said, not. I don't really use any of my phones a lot anymore. So, yeah. Next phone is my old media device, which is what the, this A01 replaced. This is a iPhone 5. It's 32 gigabytes. It's on a. Uh, AT&T, but it's, I think it's unlocked from AT&T, I really don't know, honestly, but the only thing that's wrong with it, it's got a broken power button, but it works fine, and I need to wipe it still, because I'm going to probably jailbreak it and use it, like, try to jailbreak it and use, like, the jailbreak feature that Cydia has for iOS 10.3.4, because I really never owned an iPhone 5 as a kid, and I really wanted to, so it's, that's kind of, like, my time to, so, yeah. Uh, this is an iPhone 6. It's 16 gigabytes. It is unlocked to any carrier. It works. I think it's just dead, honestly. If it ain't dead, it's probably gonna die any second. 
but yeah, it's a good phone. It's kind of like my, it's going to be my main iPhone whenever I give my 7 up, because I'm about to sell my 7. So it's going to be my primary iPhone after that. Or I'm probably going to sell it. I don't know. I'm really thinking about selling this thing, just not even using an iPhone at this rate. But yeah, it's 16 gigabytes unlocked to any carrier. And yeah. So the Risto 5 set up, I'm just gonna let that sit there and do its thing. So, yeah, as you can see, 8%. It works. This iPhone uh, 5, not 5, 6 works. I don't have a lot of stuff. I just got my uh, very small apps I need on it. And then, yeah, so, uh, wallpaper's a picture of me and my nephew you can see so yeah fingerprint works all that stuff so that's really it oh it's on 12.5.3 or 12.5 point something that was on 12.4 but it's on 12.5 but yeah excuse my feet i'm sorry about that next phone as you guys may know if you guys are og subscriber you guys should know this is the phone i made my first ever video on like recorded this is my galaxy note 3 it is it was my aunt's before she passed the back needs a replacement I need to get a case and a SIM card for it, but this is a Sprint Galaxy Note 3. It's dead as a door now, but it works completely fine. It's on Android 4.4.2. I had it on 5.0.1, but I was trying to downgrade to the OG version, and it, I didn't really get too far. And I can't update it now, so I'm going to try to plug this in. Actually, I'm plugging this in right now, and see if I can just update it. I don't have a charger over here. Forget it. I'll wait. But yeah. Next phone is my Moto One 5G Ace. I'm interested in trying to sell this, so if anybody wants any information on it, just listen up. Or if you guys want more information of price and stuff, I'll put my business email down below where you guys can email me and ask me questions. But this is a Metro by T-Mobile locked device. I only had it active for about a month and a half, like a month and three quarters actually. And it's 120 gigs, 6 gigabytes, all that stuff, and it works completely fine. So, I just I just don't have no purpose to have it, really. I don't use it. It's just sitting there. It works fine, though. Fingerprint works, face ID works, all that stuff. But if you guys want any information on it, email me down below to do, and we can set some up to send this off. I have the box. I have manuals, everything for it. I have the bag I got it in with and the receipt whenever I bought it. So that's how you know this thing's legit and it's still mine. So I need to wipe it still by the way. I thought I wiped it, but I guess I didn't. So yeah, it's got uh no SIM card as you can see. And I need a I need to wipe it. So yeah, but it works fine. Fingerprint works. I think I have facial setup. Do I? Yeah, facial works, all that stuff. So, I'm going to shut this back off because I don't really need it. Yeah. Next phone is a Galaxy S3. Kind of one of the last phones Justin gave me. He used, to, he used to give me all his old phones. This is one of the ones I, the last ones I have. It's a Virgin mobile phone. He used it for a little bit. Told me the charging point went bad. And turns out it didn't. So, I don't think I know the password to it anymore. But it works fine. And I'm just going to keep it in like just something of him I have because he went off to college and there goes the dog next phone is a ZT Abbott 4 my grandmother gave me this and she came to visit and was like hey if you can get into it you can have it so got home bypassed it and I was in and I used it with my metro service for the last quarter I had service and I had no apps on it because it's got loaded no space but yeah it's Android 5 phone not really nothing all that good this is another one of the phones that Jack sent me, actually, in the last trade we did. Oh, no. Second to last trade. Second to last trade. This is a Galaxy S4. It's on Sprint, and I think it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. But uh, it works fine, and it's 16 gigabytes. It's just cracked at the bottom, and it goes all the way up. So, yeah, cool. Now from the smartphones we're going to the basic phones over here. This is a Acatel My Flip 2. 
I was supposed to do a challenge where I didn't use my smartphone for a whole month, but as you can tell, that didn't really work out. But I'm still going to keep this nonetheless because it's a cool little smartphone I can use. Uh, it's on Kai OS, and it's a 4 gigabyte phone. It's just one of the little cheap ones you can get at Walmart. But, yeah, it's set up and stuff and all that Jimmy Jazz. So, yeah. Next one is a Samsung Palo. I don't know the exact model of it, but all I know is it's a Palo. It's dead. It's yellowed out from being old. Yeah, it's yellowed out like an MF, but it's dead. It'll try to turn on, then it'll shut off because it's dead. Or it won't turn on now, but it's dead. Just a little cheap payload everybody used back in the days. No camera, nothing like that. So, here's the Akito, uh My Flip 2. I just got a couple games on here. And then I got Reddit, some dating thing I saw I wanted to try out. And then just. Basic stuff, wallpapers, COVID-19 statuses, and your mama, because why not? But, yeah, so, that's really it. I'm going to shut this off. So, that's the first two. This third one is a LG 800G. I kind of locked it out, so I can't really use it, so I'm probably going to get rid of it in just a bulk. Or I'll probably just sell it, I guess, or cycle it to Eagle ATM, because I don't need it. It's pointless. So, yeah. Next phone is a phone from my childhood. This is a Pantech Ease. This was my grandmother, someone who gave me the Avid 4. This was her old, old, old phone. And she gave it to me. I used it with my service up until my service got shut off with AT&T the first go around before I got him again and then again and then now again for like the fourth time. So, yeah. These are the last three. This is the OG Cosmos 3, it used to be my brother's old phone, he gave it to me, I had active service, I used it until it got shut off. This mechanism is going out slowly. Here's BB-8. Hmm. But it works fine, still has all my data on it because I never wiped it. This is the Akito A302, I think BG, something like that I think, I don't know, but it's got a, it's got a crack up there but it works fine nonetheless and I just use it to store numbers in which is where I'm about to switch to this phone right here this is a LG I really don't know it's just the LG Metro flip phone that my uncle gave me so yeah my uncle my uncle my brother my grandma my uncle, uncle, I bought Jack, my grandmother, oh, Justin, I bought my aunt, Jack, oh, Jack, I bought Jack, my aunt, yeah, my aunt, Jack, Jack, I bought my, well, insurance, but my first one my mom got me, and then I traded, and then my current phone I'm recording with, I bought my own money. So that's how I kind of got all my phones, and that's all my phones I have. I have three sitting on my dresser, but I'm not going to show those because personal reasons. If you guys want to know, uh, just look out for Jack's channel. But, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm kind of sorry it's kind of long and detailed and stuff, but I really don't know what else to really post at the moment. So it's kind of the last thing I'll be posting for a good little bit. I may do an update on the A71. I don't know. Don't promise me, but... Yeah. So, thank y'all for watching. See you on my next video, whenever that is. And uh, also, if you guys are interested in buying any of these, well, not really any of these, but the iPhone 6 and the Moto 1 5G Ace. And then I think, yeah, just these two. If you guys are interested in buying these two, and this little cheap LG. Let me know and throw me an offer and if I like it then we'll go forward with it. If you guys need my email it's easy e a z y e t i n c at gmail dot com. I will put it down below if you guys wanna hit me up for opportunities. But besides that, thank you all for watching and
I shall see you on my next video. And now you're gonna see me put all these away in my little bin contraption. I'm actually gonna put those right there. Those are some ejectors. Charger. Move my phone. <laughs> Masks in my TV remote. So now you're gonna see me put most of these away because I don't really need them or use them. Okay, yeah, it's locked. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching. See you on the next video. And yeah.